Hi, good evening. Hi, Rosie, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Nice. Nice to see you again. Hi, Roberto. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Sorry? How is everything? Is everything all right? Did you have a, a good day? I have a good day. Nice, excellent. Nice to hear that. How about you, teacher, in your home? Yeah, actually, I had a more relaxing day today. Yesterday, I was busier than today. But today, I, I, I could work in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I was relaxing, so. I was it was really nice. <laughs> okay. Are you, you working home office? Uh yeah, I, I, I work um no I mean I don't I don't have my boss, you know, like uh llamada with my boss, no. But I need to um I need to check what the students are doing. Um I need to be on Facebook just in case they have questions because I have a presentation and I use a program to record the presentation and then I put the presentation on a platform. And then if they have questions, I need to be available on Facebook because the problem is that not all my students can be <clears throat> at one time, just like this, uh, like this class. There are some students that don't, that don't have internet all the time. So I cannot make a class like this with them. Uh, I need to record everything and then I need to put it in the platform and then they check it. Uh -huh. So that's why I have I, to work. I have to work a double. <laughs> yeah. Excellent to share. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I think most of them like it and, and, and they are learn, learning and that's nice. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Beatriz. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Did you have a good day? Yeah. Yeah? Are you relaxed now? <laughs> Maybe. A little Oops. bit stressed for my class of the university. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about that, that. There are some teachers that make it easy. There are some other teachers that make it difficult. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, thank you so much for making the time. And welcome, and let's see, Hugo. Hi, Hugo. Hi. How are you? Did you have a good day? Hi, fine, thank you. Nice, nice to have you back. Thank you so much for making the time, everybody. And we are going to uh, begin, okay? Um, remember that on the on the previous class we were learning a little bit about uh, the present uh, present participle, okay? And uh, we are going to do a little test. Remember that yesterday uh, we started with this topic, and I think you need a little practice with the verbs, okay? So we're going to do another test one more time with the verbs, okay? So that you can remember the verbs little by little. Vamos a practicarlos poco a poco para que se nos vayan quedando. Entonces, eh, vamos a hacer el examen. Ahora voy a empezar de lo más fácil y vamos a terminar con escritura, okay? Creo que es la que más cuesta un poquito. So, let's see. You need to help me, everybody. Okay, ayúdenme. Let's see. Number five. Uh, the past participle of put is set. True or false? False. False. Mm -hmm. false. Okay. Uh, the past participle of mean is red. True or false? False. false. Okay. Uh, get given. True or false? True. True. False. False. Uh -huh. What get is them. that? Uh -huh. what, what is that? Got it. Got it. Got it. Give. Mm -hmm. And the present of giving is given. 
Yeah, exactly. And the present of given is give. Uh -huh. Rise, risen. True. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Mm. That's true. Spend, sent. True or false? False. 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 Uh, false. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Now we have multiple choice. Understand. What is the past participle? Understood. 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 Excellent. Understood. Live. Left. Uh -huh. Left. Left. Excellent. Okay. Uh, drive. Driving. Mm -hmm. Driven. Driven. Uh -huh. Driven. Okay. Remember the pronunciation. Driven. Uh -huh. Driven. Mm -hmm. uh, become. Became. Become. Uh -huh. Become the same. Okay. Become. So we have become mm -hmm. in the present, became in the past. And become for the past person. Okay. Sit. 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 Set or sat. Sat. Uh -huh. sat. 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 Uh -huh. sat. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh, dígame, Rosa, tiene una pregunta. No. Mm, yes. You uh -huh. have a list. The the time of the verb present past and participles mm -hmm. list. Which one? Do you have a list? Uh huh. Ah, uh, no, I don't. But I can look for one and I can share it for you. Okay. Puedo buscar uno y se los puedo compartir. Okay. Yeah, because I, I don't have one, uh, to be honest. Yeah, not, not thing on The different times. Uh -huh. The different times. The mm -hmm, okay, present, mm -hmm. past, and participle. Okay, perfect. Yeah, de hecho, creo que una vez busqué un uno, y incluso estaba hasta la definición en español, para que, para que sea más fácil aprendérselo. Mm -hmm. eh, voy a buscar esa página que encontré esa vez, y se lo voy a compartir ahí en, en el WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. This Thank is a good idea. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah, I, I will do that. Okay, voy a hacer eso para que. Yo porque hay gente que no le gusta tener la gran lista de verbos, ¿verdad? Entonces, de, esa es una manera más fácil de aprendérselos, pero igual si quieren la lista se la puedo dar, no hay problema. Uh -huh. Voy a buscar mm -hmm. ese website Thank en you, el que está hasta en español para que, para que lo tengan. Okay, no uh -huh. Yes, thank you. Thanks. All right, now we have matching. Let's see, gone. What is the present of gone? Go. Go. Uh -huh. Go. The Let's present go. of made? Make. 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 Uh -huh. make. The present of lost? Lost. Lost. Lose. Uh -huh. Lose. And the present of send? Send. 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 And grown? Grow. 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 Okay, perfect. Now, vamos a la escritura. Let's see. Speak. What is the past participle? Spoken. 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 Excellent. Okay. Spoken. Say. Side. Mm -hmm. Se escribe side, pero se dice said. Okay. Said. Said. Uh -huh. Said. Uh -huh. Said. Uh -huh. said. Uh, pay. Paid. Uh -huh. Paid. Si se fijan, pay y say tienen casi que las mismas letras y terminan de la misma manera. Entonces eso es algo que ahí nos podemos ir acordando para, para que sea más fácil aprenderse. Uh -huh. The choose. Chosen. 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 Excellent. Chosen. And finally, where? Warm. Wern, uh -huh. wern, ok. Wear se usa para eh, elementos de ropa, usar ropa. No se dice use, sino que wear, ok. Y también lo podemos usar para perfume, para accesorios o para makeup también, ok. A ver cómo nos fue. Ok, excellent. 100 points, ok. Nice. All right. 
So, let's go back to the presentation. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de lo que estamos viendo ayer. Let's see. Yesterday we were learning the present perfect. Okay. And um, hacíamos la diferencia entre los auxiliares que tenemos, tanto para presente, pasado y el, particip el present perfect en este caso. Okay. Mencionábamos que tenemos para el present do and does. Eh, para el pasado tenemos did. Ese era el, 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 eh, es el auxiliar para el pasado. Sí, y para el present perfect tenemos a have and has. Ok. Have and has. Decíamos que para, eh, para I, you, we, and they vamos a usar have. Eh, voy a escribir acá nada más el, la forma corta de decir has not, hasn't, para que lo tengamos por ahí. A second. Okay. Entonces teníamos eh, have, que era para you, we, and they. Y has, que es para he, she, and it. Okay. Todavía no hemos usado el has y el hasn't. Porque me interesa que aprendamos primero cómo usar el have antes de pasar al hasn't. Okay. Porque ya si lo meto todo ahí, lo vamos a enchivolar todo. Entonces vamos a evitar eso. Okay. El día de ayer hablábamos sobre el primer uso que tenemos para el present perfect, que eran cuestiones pasadas que son, que son recientes, ¿ok? Algo importante en eso es que no es necesario que digamos exactamente cuándo pasó, sino que lo dejamos así de manera general, eh, porque eso nos ayuda a no ser tan específicos y poder usar ese, ese, ese tiempo, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, hablamos de usar just, already, and yet. Eh, ¿Para qué? ¿Para cuándo usábamos just? ¿Quién se acuerda? Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo usábamos just? Cuando nos referimos a algún, pues, a alguna actividad que acabamos de hacer. Ah, algo que acaban de hacer. Ok, por ejemplo, si ya, eh, si ya se no, usted puede decir I have just. Eh, Eaten dinner, ok. Si estaba antes de empezar la clase y estaba limpiándose los labios, ¿verdad? Para que no saliera el frijol ahí ni nada. Este, I have just eaten dinner, ok. Eh, también teníamos already. Les explicaba que already era para algo que usted ya hizo sin necesidad que le preguntaran. Y de hecho, vamos a ver un par de preguntas para ver si las podemos responder. Y también hablamos de yet, ok. ¿Qué significaba yet en español? Todavía, ¿no? Todavía, ¿ok? Y algo que todavía no lo ha hecho. Entonces, se usa más que todo en negativo, ¿ok? También se puede usar en pregunta, pero en pregunta es mejor usar recently, ¿ok? Recently, que es el otro que estamos viendo. Entonces, aquí tengo un par de ejemplos, solo para que, eh, solo para que nos, nos quedemos ahí y veamos cómo se usa. Eh, puedo usar eh, frases en presente, por ejemplo, I have played soccer recently. Or I haven't played soccer recently. I haven't listened to music today. I haven't gone to the movie theater this year. Okay. Ahí estamos viendo cómo se usa have, cómo se usa haven't, y cómo usamos el verbo en el pasado participio. Okay. En el caso de los regulares está fácil porque lo mantenemos igual, la misma pronunciación, la misma escritura, únicamente cambia con los irregulares. Okay. Luego aquí tengo unos ejemplos de just, already, and yet. I have just eaten dinner. Okay. I have just eaten dinner. I have already taken my medicine. Si usted le toca tomarse una medicina. I have already taken my medicine. En ese caso lo uso ahí en esa posición, en medio de have y del verbo. Y si usted no ha hecho algo todavía. Okay. I haven't had dinner yet. O I haven't eaten dinner yet. ¿Ok? Eso siempre se usa al final. Y también lo podemos usar para pregunta. Pero para pregunta, también tengo recently. Have you watched the new movie recently? Or have you watched the new movie yet? ¿Ok? Eh, quiero ver. 
Y también puedo usar already para preguntar. Have you already watched the new movie? Okay. Que prácticamente es lo mismo. All right. Con las preguntas eh, eh, de, de información, perdón, de yes, no. Ok. Únicamente usted puede responder yes, I have. Ok. Very easy. Yes, I have. Or in case it is negative. Oops, In case it is negative, what is the negative of have, people? Haven't. Haven't, haven't. okay. Haven't. Perfect, okay. So in that case would be... No, I haven't. Oops. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. No, I haven't, okay. Entonces, eso es algo que me va a decir. O también me puede decir de manera, eh, me puede responder de manera larga. Y en ese caso sería de esta manera. ¿Sí? Okay. Por ejemplo, si le digo, have you already had dinner? Yes, I have. Okay. Eh, me puede decir también, I have already have dinner. I have already had dinner. Ok. Estoy usando had como el auxiliar. Luego uso already. Eso quiere decir que sí, ya lo hice. Y luego el verbo en participio que sería had, sorry, had, de have dinner. Ok. De esa actividad. Y en caso fuese negativo, también me puede decir lo siguiente. Eh, I haven't had dinner yet. Ok. Entonces va a tener cuatro maneras como responderme. Usted decide cuál usar. Ok. Mi recomendación trate de usar las más largas para que se acostumbre a usar eh, los verbos en participio. Ok. Entonces ahí están. Eh, así es como usted puede responder. Me puede responder. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. O me puede decir, yes, I have already had dinner. O no, I haven't had dinner yet. Ok. Let's see. Um, Roberto, have you already had dinner? Yes, I have already had dinner, teacher. Ok, perfect. Excellent. Um, let's see, Rosie, have you already had dinner? Mm, yes, I have already had dinner. Excellent. And finally, Hugo, have you already had dinner? Yes, I have already had dinner. Excellent. Okay. Let's see, number two. Uh, have you already gone to the supermarket, people? Have you already gone to the supermarket? Uh -huh, no, let's see. I no, I haven't. Okay, Andrea, you said no, I haven't. Let's see, Beatriz, have you already gone to the supermarket? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. What is the long way? Vamos a ver aquí que me quiera responder de manera larga. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't gone mm -hmm. to the supermarket yet. Excellent. I haven't gone to the supermarket yet. Okay. Excellent. Let's see. I'm going to ask Carolina. Have you already gone to the supermarket? No, I haven't. Okay. No, I haven't. Okay. Or you can say, no, I haven't gone to the supermarket yet. Okay. The next question. Igual, recuérdese, y trate de responder de manera larga. Okay. Let's see. Have you already played with your child? If you don't have a child, Maybe with your dog, or with your brother, or with your sister, okay? I don't know, you choose, okay? Um, let's see, first I'm going to ask, do you have a dog? Sorry, you, do you have a child? Let's see, Xiomara, do you have a child? No, I don't. Okay, mm, do you have a younger brother? Yes, ah, okay. yes I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you already played with your younger brother? No, I haven't played with my younger brother yet. Excellent. Okay. 
No, I haven't played with my younger brother yet. Let's see, Roberto. Uh, do you have a child? Yes, I, I have a children teacher. Okay. Uh, have you already played with your child? Yes, I have already played with my, my son and daughter. Ah, okay, with both. Excellent. Okay, nice. Thank you. The next one. Uh, have you already seen the news today? Have you already seen the news today? Um, let's see. Um, Carolina, have you already seen the news today? <clears throat> have you already seen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carolina? Or Andrea, have you already seen the news today, Andrea? Mm, no, I haven't. Uh, seen the news today yet. Excellent, okay. No, I haven't seen the news uh, today yet. Uh -huh. Let's see, Beatriz, have you already seen the news today? I'm not with that. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't worry. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Um, Hugo, have you already seen the news today? Yes, I have seen news today. Uh huh. I have already. Mm -hmm. I have already seen. The I have already. Uh huh. Perfect. And let's see if I have another one. No, I don't have more. Okay. So if you see, that's how we use just. Well, in this case, no somos just. Porque probablemente no lo acaban de hacer, okay? Um, but we use already and we use yet, okay? Así es como usamos, eh, es la primera parte de cómo utilizamos, eh, in this case, the present perfect, okay? ¿Alguna duda que ha quedado hasta acá, chicos y chicas? It's a little difficult, it's a little difficult. Yeah, it's a little difficult. Uh, it is more a little, I mean, you have to practice. I think it, it just requires a little practice, okay? De hecho, creo que en la plataforma, eh, creo que solo son palabritas las que tienen que poner o solo es opción múltiple, no recuerdo. Pero no está tan, tan, tan complicado en la plataforma. Creo que es más complicado aprenderse las reglas, pero trato de que las aprendan más que todo en práctica y no tanto estar aprendiéndose ahí la estructura, de primero va esto y después este fue esto, sino que es más que todo de usarlo así, ¿ok? Y créanme que al final de esos tres días, porque nos vamos a echar tres días en, en aprender eso, eh, ya lo van a poder usar bien, ¿ok? O por lo menos de la manera más, más, más esencial, esa es la idea. Okay. All right, ¿ok? Let's see. Now we're going to see the second meaning, ¿ok? The, the use that we have for the present perfect. Okay, we're going to see the part number two. Se lo voy a mostrar todo para que vayamos viendo ejemplo por ejemplo. Okay, um, let's see. We can say or we can express past experiences. Podemos hablar de experiencias pasadas. And again, no es necesario que mencionemos cuando pasó esto. Okay, únicamente lo estamos expresando. Okay. Por ejemplo, we have been to Rome and Florence. Hemos estado en Roma y en Florencia, ¿ok? Pero no dije cuándo, ni con quién, ni nada. Únicamente dije que hemos estado, ¿ok? Hemos estado. I haven't read that book. I haven't read that book. No he leído ese libro, ¿ok? I haven't read that book. Estoy hablando de que en mi pasado, en todo mi pasado, no lo he leído, ¿ok? I haven't read that book. Um, over here, ahora vamos a aprender otras tres palabras que podemos usar con este, eh, con este tema, que sería never, ever, and before, ¿ok? De hecho, acá abajo les voy a poner unos ejemplos para que vayamos uno por uno, ¿ok? Así que ahorita enfoquémonos nada más en never, ever, and before, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, I have been to Costa Rica before. En este caso, been se puede traducir como estado o visitado, ¿ok? Ahora, si usted quiere decir visited, también se puede, ¿ok? 
Pero en este caso se puede traducir bien como estado o visitado. I have been to Costa Rica before. Okay. Can you tell me what some places that you have been to or that you have visited before? I have the visit Costa Rica too. Ah, okay. I have visited Costa Rica as well uh -huh, before. Uh -huh. Another example? The other lugares que hayan visitado? Pues I have visto. been to mm -hmm. Colombia before. Ah, excellent. I have been to Colombia before. Excellent. Acuérdense que podemos decir I have been to or I have visited Colombia before. Mm -hmm. Other places, people? Otros lugares que han visitado, incluso acá en El Salvador, no se preocupen. Uh -huh. Guatemala. Ok. ¿Cómo sería la oración completa? I have visited. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have visited what? I visited. Uh, I have visited Guatemala. Uh -huh. Guatemala. Before. Before. Uh -huh. Excellent. Ok. En ese caso, before significa antes, ¿ok? Antes, pero no, no, no dice exactamente en qué mes, ni en qué año, ni, ni con quién estaba, ni nada, sino que únicamente dice, ya, sí, ya he estado ahí o ya he visitado ese lugar antes, ¿ok? Entonces no es específico y eso es algo muy importante de ese tema, que no tiene que ser tan específico, sino que únicamente lo dice así vagamente, ¿ok? I have been to Costa Rica before. What other places have you visited or have you been to people? In El Salvador, for example, have you been to uh, El Pital before? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I have been to Apaneca before. Excellent, okay. I have been to Apaneca before. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It is like, for example, si alguien les pregunta, hey, mira, vamos a ir a Apaneca. Um, Yeah, it's my the, the first time that we go to Apaneca. And you're like, yeah, but I have been to Apaneca before, okay? Yeah, you go, okay? I have been there. Mm -hmm. I have been to, to Apaneca before. Mm -hmm. What other places have you been to or have you visited before? I have visited Copan, Honduras before. Ah, okay. I have visited Copan, Honduras before. Excellent, okay? So those are some places that you have visited. Now. ¿Qué pasa si nunca la hemos visitado? Let's see what we can say. I have never visited. Tenemos dos opciones. Usted puede decir, eh, usar have en negativo. I haven't been to Costa Rica before. Ok. Lo cual es aceptable. Porque está diciendo que no, este, que no ha estado en Costa Rica antes. Ok. O, como me decían un par por ahí, I have never been to Costa Rica. And that's it. Okay, I have never been to Costa Rica. Okay, I have never been to Costa Rica. Entonces, eh, tenemos esas opciones. Okay, ahora, ¿cuáles son algunos lugares que ustedes nunca han visitado? O que no han visitado antes. Uh -huh. In my case, I have never been to uh, China. <laughs> okay, what about you? Me too. I have never been to... Spain. You have never been to Spain. Okay, excellent. Another? I have never been to Paris, France. Ah, okay. I have never been to Paris, France. Uh -huh. Recuerda que puedes ir having, uh, have never. Y si usa never, no tiene que, ser, no tiene que poner have en negativo. Porque ya never es negativo. Okay. Ahora, si usted no pone never, tiene que poner happen. Okay? Es por eso que tengo las dos oraciones acá juntas. I have uh -huh. a question. Yes. Uh -huh. eh, siempre en la oración, o sea positivo o negativo, tiene que ir el before, de último, o no precisamente. No, precisamente, eso es nada más para, para hablar de experiencias pasadas. Uh -huh. Eso es nada más para hablar de experiencias pasadas. Eh, se refiere a ese tema, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Sí. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, como acá estamos hablando de experiencias pasadas, el before únicamente lo utilizamos para dar a entender que, que, que eso ha sido antes, pero no decimos exactamente en qué fecha. Porque usted me puede decir, I have been to Costa Rica, y así de simple. I have been to Costa Rica. Y se entiende que ya estuve ahí. Uh -huh. 
Así que no es necesario ponerlo. Solamente lo pongo para que, para tener de referencia las, las frases que estamos usando. Pero si usted no lo pone, no hay problema. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah. thank you. Ok. Ok. One more. Una persona más que me diga dónde no he estado antes. O nunca he estado en. Uh -huh. I have never been to Mexico. I have never been to Mexico. Excellent. Ok. Entonces, así es como usamos eh, never and before. Ok. Eh, incluso usted no puede usar before, así como estuvimos hablando anteriormente. Ahora, eh, si se fijan, ya vimos never y ya vimos before. Ahora, ¿cómo uso ever? Ever lo voy a utilizar para preguntas. Ok. Lo voy a utilizar para preguntas. Por ejemplo, Have you ever visited a hospital? Have you ever visited a hospital? Entonces, en este caso, para responderme, igual usted puede decir, yes, I have, no, I haven't. Very simple. Pero a la hora de responder de manera larga, no va a usar ever, sino que va a usar before o va, va a usar never. Okay? Por ejemplo, si me pregunta a mí, teacher, have you ever visited a hospital? Yes, I have visited a hospital before. Okay? Or, I have visited a hospital. Mm -hmm. I have visited a hospital. Ahora, si usted nunca en su vida ha ido a un hospital o no le ha tocado que estar en un hospital, no, teacher. I have never visited a hospital. Okay? Entonces, aquí es donde usamos las frases que estuvimos estudiando anteriormente. Okay? La pregunta va a ser con ever, pero para responder puede ser afirmativo o puede ser con never. Ok, con never. De hecho, vamos a escribir las respuestas acá para que eh, me las puedan responder, porque tengo varias preguntas de have you ever. Ok, entonces me puede decir yes, I have. Puede ser. Give me a second. Oops. Okay. No, I haven't. Puede ser. Yes, I have, entonces como no voy a usar ever, sería nada más visited a hospital Oops, before, o solamente I have visited a hospital, o podría ser también no, I have never visited a hospital uh, uh, yeah, until there, okay? I have never visited a hospital, okay? So, let's see. Um, si se fijan en ese caso, estoy usando never, que sería nunca, okay, maybe. Y los verbos siempre en participio, okay? Let's see, I'm going to ask. Carolina, have you ever visited a hospital? Yes, I have visited a hospital before. Okay, excellent, thank you. Hugo. Have you ever visited a hospital? Yes, I have visited a hospital before. Okay, excellent. And Roberto, have you ever visited a hospital? Yes, teacher, I have visited a hospital before. Okay, excellent, thank you. Let's see another question. Have you ever played bowling? Have you ever played bowling? Let's see, um, Andrea. Have you ever played bowling? Uh, no, I have never played bowling. Excellent, okay. No, I have never played bowling. Shane, have you ever played bowling? Uh, I played bowling for months. Ah, ok. In that in the case, no me tiene que decir exactamente cuándo, porque ahí ya tendría que usar el pasado. Sino que así de manera general. Yes, I have played uh, bowling. Ok. Yes, I have played bowling. Um, let's see, Xiomara. Have you ever played bowling? I have a ne never played bowling. Ah, ok. Excellent. Rosie, have you ever played bowling? No, I have never played Bowling. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, let's see. Let's continue with the next question. Okay, well, mm -hmm. those are the answers that you were giving me. Okay, have you ever driven uh, driven a truck? 
Have you ever driven a truck? Let's see. Uh, Beatriz, have you ever driven a truck? No, I have never driven a truck. Okay, excellent. Um, let's see, Roberto, have you ever driven a truck? No, I haven't. Uh, I so yeah. No, I have never uh, driven a truck. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see. Xiomara, have you ever driven a truck? No, I have never driven a truck in my whole life. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Ahora, ahora viendo las preguntas, ¿qué significa have you ever? Según su comprensión. ¿Alguna vez has? Ajá, ¿alguna vez has hecho esto o hecho lo otro? Ok, depende de la actividad. Ok, ¿alguna vez has? Uh -huh. Perfect. Ok, perfect. Entonces acá tengo, ah, the last one. Have you ever spoken to an American? Uh -huh. Have you ever spoken to an American? Let's see, Beatriz, have you ever spoken to an American? Yes, I... Yes, I have spoken to an American. Okay, perfect. Yes, I have spoken to an American. Excellent. Um, let's see. Hugo, have you ever spoken to an American? Uh, no, I have never spoken to an American. Okay. Um, Carolina, have you ever have you ever uh, spoken to an American? No, I have never spoken to an American. Okay, excellent, excellent, thank you. Okay, so that's how we use uh, never, ever, and before, okay? Así como utilizamos esas tres, never, ever, and before, okay? Y aquí tenemos otro ejemplo, have you ever read a book or have you ever read, I don't know, Harry Potter books? I have never read them. Or, yes, I have read the book. Okay. I have read the book. Okay. Eh, luego del siguiente no tengo un ejemplo, pero acá está bien explícito. Se puede usar también con eh, superlative. Okay. Eh, únicamente se puede decir como para lo mejor que ha comido, lo mejor que ha tomado, lo mejor que ha visitado. Okay. Pero... No es tan común. Aquí puedo tener, this is the best food I have ever tried. Okay. Esa es la mejor comida que he alguna vez probado. Okay. Tried. Uh -huh. Sin embargo, eh, no me voy a meter mucho en eso porque creo que no es tan tan importante aprender eso ahorita. Okay. Así que nos vamos a pasar a la de number of times until now. Eso quiere decir que, que usted me puede decir que el número de veces que ha hecho algo hasta ahorita. Okay. Tenemos que 27, 30, 35 años. Entonces usted puede decir que tantas veces ha visto eso, que tantas veces ha hecho eso, que tantas veces ha visitado ese lugar. Okay. Por ejemplo, I have seen this movie three times. Okay. I have seen this movie three times. Okay. Si yo le digo, hey, Titanic. Okay. How many times have you seen that movie, people? I have seen that movie. Many times. Many times, okay. Uh huh. What about the others? How many times, people? How many times have you seen that movie? Two or three times. Two or three times, okay. Nice, nice. What about the others? How many times have you seen that movie? Mm -hmm. Alguien más que nos quiera contar cuántas veces la ha visto? En el seis, en. I did it. The Titanic movie one time. Only. Okay, okay. You have seen the movie only one time. Okay, perfect. Entonces acá vamos a ver algunos ejemplos eh, de eh, un number of times. Okay, por ejemplo, I have been to Guatemala many times. Okay, I have been to Guatemala many times. Puede poner many o puede poner un específico número de 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 ocasiones. Okay. Entonces, ahora póngase a pensar algo que ha hecho eh, por un cierto número de veces. Uh -huh. Yo las voy a escribir acá. Okay. Por ejemplo, I have, oops, I have, uh, 
I have fixed my computer maybe three times, <laughs> okay? I have fixed my computer three times. What about you? What are some activities that you have done a number of times? Desde que nació hasta que, hasta ahorita. There are some activities that you have done. Mm -hmm. I have driven ambulance uh, five times. Oh, okay. I have driven, oops. I have driven an ambulance three times. Okay, perfect. Nice. Another example? I had been to Cojutepeque many times. Okay, I have been to Cojutepeque many times. Okay. Another example? Puede ser cualquier número de veces, ¿ok? Recuerde que puedo usar verbos irregulares o regulares. En el caso de los regulares, eh, solamente de, por ejemplo, I have checked uh, my Facebook many times today, ¿ok? I have checked my Facebook many times today. Mm -hmm. What are some other activities that you have done today, people? Or during your life? I have eaten three times today. Ah, excellent. I have eaten three times today. Excellent. Another example? I have to check my email every day. Ah, I have checked. Uh, my email every day. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Uh huh. Those are some things that you have done this week. Uh huh. What else? ¿Qué otras actividades son las que ustedes han hecho? Ustedes han hecho un cierto número de veces. I have broken my mom's mirror three three times. I have what? Excuse me. Broken. Spoken. Broken. Eh, quebrar, romper. Ah, sorry. Broken. broken. Uh -huh. I have broken. I have broken my mom's mirror three <laughs> times. Oh, wow. Okay. Three times. Okay. I have broken my mom's mirror three times. Excellent. One more. Una más. I have met a Canadian girl one time. Ah, I have met a Canadian girl one time. Okay, nice. Excellent. Okay, so these are some things that we have done, and it can be a number of times. Okay, y puede ser un número determinado de, eh, de veces. Okay, entonces se fijan en ese caso, seguimos usando el present perfect. Eh, seguimos usando los verbos en pasado participio y lo estamos usando de diferentes maneras. Eh, así que nada más para eh, recapitular por aquí, eh, aprendimos el, el uso de tres palabras que eran eh, before, ever y también never. Ok, never. Y aprendimos a usar el present perfect un número determinado de veces. Ok. I have seen this movie, I have done, or I have read this book two times. For example, my favorite book is The Little Prince, The Principito. So I have read this book many times. Ok. Entonces eso es algo que usted puede decir. No está diciendo específicamente que lo leyó ayer o que lo leyó la semana pasada. Simplemente lo dice de manera general eh, que lo ha leído. Ok. Que lo ha leído. Um, y el día de ayer... Estoy viendo cómo usar get, already, and just. Ok, también solo para que nos vayamos recordando de todas esas que hemos visto hasta ahora. Ok, así que este sería el segundo, el primer y el segundo uso que tenemos para el present perfect. Nos hace falta uno más. Y luego vamos a ver la comparación entre el presente y pasado, que creo que ahí le va a quedar todo más claro de cómo se usa uno y cómo se usa otro. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta con lo que hemos visto hasta ahora? Del never, del ever, 
the number of times. Mm -hmm. Turn no. O claro como la horchata. Claro como la horchata. Claro como la horchata. Okay, nice. Okay. Eh, let's see. Vamos a ver unas preguntas aquí. Ajá. Have you ever sent a message to the wrong person? Mm -hmm. Have you ever sent a message to the wrong person? To la persona equivocada? Uh -huh. Yes, I have. Yes, ever. you have. <laughs> I yes. have, yeah. And uh, how did you feel? <laughs> How did you feel when you sent the message to the wrong person? Uh, achicada, ¿cómo es la palabra, teacher? Ah, um, embarrassed. Uh, uh -huh. Embarrassed? Yes. <laughs> In that case, was a email. Ah. And, uh, I need to send email to my husband. Mm -hmm. But the email was for the gerente. Really? For the manager? For the manager. <laughs> I sent and the manager. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus. My love. <laughs> <laughs> and you were writing, my love, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, nice. Let's see. Um... Beatriz, have you ever sent a message to the wrong, to the wrong person? I don't remember. Don't remember? On WhatsApp no. or something? Um, <laughs> no. No? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I have. Uh huh. What happened? I have sent a message to the wrong person. And I, go, I was told, I was told with my. With my friends, and I send the message to another friends, and. But was it something good or bad? The one that you sent. <laughs> um, something bad, maybe. Ah, something bad. Okay, all right. Thank you. Let's see, Andrea. Have you ever sent a message uh, to the wrong person? Um, yes, I have. Uh huh. What happened? <laughs> Era, o sea, era para alguien, alguien interno y se lo mandé a un cliente. Ah, it was for, for a coworker, but you sent it to, to a client. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what did you do? ¿Qué hizo? When you, when you saw that it was not the, 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 the correct person. Yes. Me contestó que, que me había equivocado y que no si era para él. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok, excelente, thank you. Uh, let's see, Tiomara, have you ever sent a message to the wrong person? Yes, I have sent a message to the works chat. Ajá. Uh -huh. I sent a emoji. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, like a kiss. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, but a few minutes later, uh -huh. I erased the message. Ah, okay. And who was the kiss for? <laughs> what? Para quien era el beso? <laughs> to my boyfriend. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. All right, nice. Yeah, I think I did it once. I, I have sent a message to the wrong person, but I was taking like a screenshot of a chat. And then I sent the chat to the same person. <laughs> and I was and, and I thought that I had sent the chat to a different person, but I sent the, the, the screenshot to the same person. Yeah, that has happened. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Another question. Have you ever eaten rabbit? Have you ever eaten rabbit? Let's see. Yes, I have. <laughs> Where? Where did you eat rabbit? Um, here in my home for ah. the for one celebration well my brother's birthday 
Okay. And my mom prepared the rabbit. Ah, and how was it? It's like it's like to the chicken. It's like chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's thank good. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, let's see, Carolina. Have you ever eaten rabbit? No, I have. I never eaten rabbit. Really? Mm. Okay. Let's see, uh, Andrea. Have you ever eaten rabbit? No, I have never eaten rabbit. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Shane. Have you ever eaten rabbit? Or Hugo, have you ever eaten rabbit? No, I have never eaten rabbit. Okay. Uh -huh. Roberto, have you ever eaten rabbit? Yes, I have mm. eaten rabbit one time. Uh -huh. And how was it? Did you like it? Yes, the flavor is good. Okay, okay, nice. Let's see, a quien me falta preguntarle. Uh -huh. Um, oh, uh, no, Hugo. Yes, I, I think I asked. Rosie, have you ever eaten rabbit? No, teacher. I never eaten, eaten rabbit. Okay. Okay, nice. I have eaten rabbit, but in salpicón, you know? Mm. Yeah, mm. and it's, it's very delicious, actually. I like the flavors. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's kind no, of delicious. No, it's delicious. I mean, you're not going to have a rabbit in your house and then you're going to kill it. It is like a rabbit from a farm, you know? And mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten a snake, teacher? No, I have never eaten snake. Is it delicious? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> ah, you have. <laughs> I thought you had eaten rabbit. The robot, teacher. Ah, no, I don't like, no, I don't know. <laughs> have you ever eaten the robot, people? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. Yes, I have. Oh, really, Carolina? How was it? In Alhuaste or something? I don't know. Yes, I watched it. <laughs> oh, wow. It's similar to a chicken. It's similar so, also to chicken. No. <laughs> everything, is, everything is like chicken. <laughs> have, you, have you ever eaten uh, frog legs, alca de rana? No, 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 I no, haven't. Really, no. I have mm -hmm. in Huayua. Mm -hmm. They sell that in Huayua, and it's very delicious, actually. Oh, no. It looks like you, a. It looks like you are chicken. Chinese, teacher. You are Chinese. <laughs> no, I'm not Chinese. No, I don't like to. No, I like. <laughs> yeah, I like meat. I like meat. Me gusta la carne, pero si debo aceptarla. But I think the, the 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 frog legs, the the la salca de rana, they look like chicken. Se ven como que son pechugas a la plancha ahí. They they don't look like they don't look mm -hmm. like a frog. <laughs> so that's why I say, yeah, I want that, but don't don't tell me what it is. And then I tell her, okay, what is it? And then she told me, uh, yeah, that was frog. And I was like, ah, okay, that was nice. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I mean, you can try different things, you know. Um, but mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's the idea of this topic. Okay, so do you have any questions, people? No. No. Oh, no. Sure. Okay. no. Perfect. Okay. It's so very difficult. <laughs> yeah, I know it is. It is a little difficult, but the only part that we need is practice. Okay. Entonces mañana vamos a hacer más preguntas de Have you ever? para que se nos vaya quedando el usar los verbos, porque creo que eso es lo que lo detiene de hablar, porque no, no estamos seguros de los verbos, pero igual. Este, voy a buscar esa lista de verbos que les dije, se los voy a compartir en WhatsApp, y mañana terminamos con la última parte de este topic. Okay? Así que, thank you so much, have a good night, stay safe, and see you tomorrow. Okay? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Bye. teacher. Bye. Good night, everyone, guys. Bye. 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 Bless you.